Hi everybody. Hola. Como están ustedes? How are you all? Here we are on day six, seven of our quarantine. Um, we've all been at home and uh, hopefully everybody's staying healthy. I wanted to take advantage of the chance to use some technology uh, to connect with everybody and bring you on my old walk to school. I've been inside for a few days now. Even though it's raining, I had to get out. So come and see my walk to Salmon Creek Community School. I'll show you around the classroom and we'll see what we find today. Oh, here comes a log. Puddles. Let's see, I wonder who's been here before us. Looks like my boot. Oh, slippery. Little deer tracks. Okay, now we're on the road. And it's about a half a mile from here. It takes about 15 minutes. It's lovely, beautiful to see this rain. We've really needed it. There's a little creek by my house. Can you see that? Trickling right along. It looks like there's some sticks to clear out of the culvert, but I can get to that. Puddles, you want to jump in a puddle? Let's jump in a puddle. Ready? Okay. Got to jump in puddles. You can see how the rain's collecting on the side of the road and making a little tiny stream with waterfalls as it goes from uphill, downhill. And we'll stop by the creek so you can see where, what it looks like when it gets even bigger. Now here's a little creek that's coming in from the meadow and probably from the road, I would guess. Yeah, that water's coming off the road and you can see how full of sediment it is, how murky it is. So we'd call that turbid. And if the kids were taking a sample from the creek today, we might take one from right here and then one from further up where the water's much clearer. Oh, I see colt's foot flowers are starting to bloom. Let's see what else is happening in the creek today. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. You can see pretty far down through the water. Oh, if my friends were here, they'd be fishing. And collecting rocks, building fairy houses. Let's see if the old fairy house is, is still there. Well, it looks like it survived. We haven't had enough water to get up here this year. Well, here's a little fairy house that children have built. It looks nice and dry inside there, at least back deep in on the back wall, it stayed dry. Good job. Well, shall we cross the creek and go up through the meadow? Let's do that. shallow enough, we can just walk through it. There, I 
can see the sun up in the meadow. Let's see what else is happening. Here's an old harvester from when this whole area used to be a big sheep ranch. And the farmers would harvest the mown hay. A horse or oxen would pull this. You can see the seat where the driver would sit. The big wheels. A few years ago, this big oak tree fell down kind of sad, but what happened was it fell right over these rocks and made a perfect little shelter for us to come to on our walks. I'm going to be shooting into the sun to show you that, but it was a little place where people could Ah, uh, yes, many, many a Monday morning climbing in this oak tree. I can see how fun it might be to climb up there on those tall branches. Those branches that used to be trunks. And right now the moss is all wet and dripping. Looks like it's getting a good drink. You can see how it looked. You can see how it looked just a few days ago when it was so dry and brown. Now it's getting green and starting to really wake up. Oh, just look at that view. So, can I see here? Some other Monday mornings we would hike up those hills and get our get our Monday morning march and other Mondays we would just go to this pond right right across the way let's go to that pond right now we're coming out of the meadow now up to the edge of the pond you can see the play structure of the school back there we're almost There's that sunshine. Love it. Now here's the view behind us at the pond. There's the top of our little watershed right there, one boundary. I hear chickens in the orchard. They must be glad the sun is coming out. Look at all those apple blossoms. Well, let's go over to the school, shall we? And here we are at my favorite school in the world. This is the playground of Salmon Creek Community School. And if you've been here before, you'll recognize the play structure and the swing sets. Um, we can't see the volcano in the distance, our beloved Bear Butte. We can't see Bear Butte in the distance because of all the clouds. But if you've been here before, you know that it's often hiding in the clouds. Let's go into the classroom. And I can show you some of the some of the things in there. So let me take you on a tour of the classrooms. And we'll start with my old kindergarten, which is also the kitchen and the bathroom. And right now it's the room that's available to community members who want to meet or do workshops or presentations. That's the building, it's sort of our multi-purpose building right now. But has a lot of great kindergarten memories for me.
this is our classroom. It's a bit empty right now. It feels a little echoey. Um, I haven't got a fire going, so it's not as cozy as it is when it's warm. But this is where we would start the day. We might look at the weather first. Someone's job would be to check the weather. Let's see. What would you say the weather has been like where you are today? Sunny? Has it been rainy? Or maybe foggy? Where I am, it's definitely been cloudy. Maybe if you're near the coast, it's been windy. Or up higher on the mountain, it might be snowy. Well, I want to read you a book, but I don't want to do it in the classroom because it's so cold in there and really pretty lonely. So I'm going to head back to my house and share this one of my favorite books with you. But as we go, you can see the greenhouses in the background. Goodbye, classroom. Our woodshed filled with firewood ready for next year. This is the upper grades classroom, formerly called the Kennedy Building. Thank you, Chip, for that wonderful sign. Uh, and, and over here is the library, one of my favorite buildings. Uh, if you're in the neighborhood, there's, there's loads of free games and books on the library porch right now, just free. Just come and get them and give them a good home. The flower, flower beds are doing great. We're looking forward to more blossoms this spring. I'd actually come and do some weeding. So again, if you're in the neighborhood, feel free to stop by any time and pick some sage or rosemary, some daffodils, and get some free books. Here is another one of our neighbors out for a walk in the rain. This is the sort of thing that some of my friends would stop for 10 or 15 minutes to watch. See how it's just inching its way along. So that was Salmon Creek Community School. This is the road, same road I would walk to get back home. You can see the forest is loving all this rain. Everything's green and glistening. There's moisture in the air. Little creeks are running down the side of the road. The bigger creeks are singing in the forest. Birds and squirrels are active. The earthworms are out. And the sun is trying to break through. We might have a rainbow today. I hope you'll look for one where you are if it's raining and sunny. You want to stand with the sun at your back. Look in the direction that the sun is shining. Try to find a rainbow. See if you can find a rainbow today. Or at least an earthworm. Go for a walk wherever you are. If you can only go to your backyard. Go to your backyard. See what's happening there. Pay close attention to something really small for a while. See what you notice.